Hello and welcome to episode 5 of my Technic Blightfall tutorial Let's Play series. Well, this is the last episode um, I will be doing on Blightfall for, for the moment. I'll say for the moment because with all my series that I've started in the past, if the viewings ever pick up on any of the series and people you know comment saying they'd like to see more in that series if it's justifi justifiable through it being popular then I will unpause it and continue as I will for Blightfall should it ever reach enough views how many is enough views? I don't know we all know if a game is popular or not we can see it through the activity anyway let's take a look at some of the other quests that I've not gone over in Blightfall I must say I'm having a lot of fun playing Blightfall and I would be very happy to do to continue this series but for the moment I did say that I was going to do mini series on many different uh, mod packs that are out there so five episodes has proven with Blightfall to be enough to give you a good general idea of the game and the 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 way it works and the progression within it with some of the mod packs um, it won't have the uh, hardcore quest mod and so it they'll be different anyway so I'll get to them right so let's come out of here let's sleep because it's getting dark I've obviously waffled too much there we go, nice and light. Right, okay, so let's bring up our book. Now, you can see my reputation because of the uh, exploration quests, the scouting quests, I've got myself a very good chunk of reputation. So I'm now on 77, which is good. Uh, very nearly on very good. Um, of course, I only died once, which was uh, amazing, because I thought I'd die a lot more than that. Uh, so anyway, we're doing well here. Let's go take a look at the quests. So we started with the instructor. And you can remember... Oh yeah, let's grab some more of that. Why not? Because we don't take a hit on it with our reputation, so it's fine. Um, okay, so you can see we went through here. We went through the tutorial side of Tinkers to unlock the... Uh, parts to it to make our tools our primitive tools they're still primitive worked our way up to the copper pickaxe next is the uh, harvesting gold and an alien metal etc so you can see the way that that's going if we come back next there was the supplier which gave us our first sapling which enabled us to keep getting wood um, I don't need to request sugarcane because I got some from the swamp you'll remember um, the books if the series continues then we'll take a look at them but for now no need okay so we haven't unlocked this over here yet so that's the supplier then we went on to the geologist Oops. and you remember I was going through getting stones coal uh, other materials I still haven't got diamonds redstone lapis lazuli or gold so you know that's in progress the, that was all the geologist and next, the last episode, we did the scout. So we did some scouting quests, uh, starting off in our base here, where we unlocked then the swamp, and we did some traveling to the jungle, and the, was it just the jungle? And yeah, the jungle, maybe the forest, I don't know, I've lost the plot on that. But I know I went to the swamp and the jungle. I don't think I went to the plains because there you will die because of the taint swarms. So that was the geologist. Now let's have a look at the paranormalist. So the paranormalist, this is where it starts to get exceedingly interesting. Uh, if we read up here, I'm Dr. Sprouse, quantum physicist by degree. Um, but I do a little of what a little of everything. I try to explain what others consider unexplainable. There's so much science has yet to be discover, discovered. For example, nobody will dispute the existence or efficacy of the enchantment table, but science has yet to explain it. I believe the mechanism behind the enchantment table is a strange energy I've measured and I'm 
interested in learning what science has dared reveal. Perhaps we can learn together. So, I mean, that just spikes at your curiosity, doesn't it? So if we go in there, it all starts with getting two iron. And guess what? I've been a little prepared. Not that I usually am. If we look in here, Viola, there is two iron. So if I grab that, look in the book, we've now completed this. Excellent. So let's claim our one point. That's now unlocked this one, channeling device. Well, this sounds like we're going to get a bit magical if I click on that. I found I. I found that the iron on this planet seems to be good at conducting that mysterious energy I mentioned earlier. Could you build a device to harness it? I vote you make it look like a wand. As you might have been able to tell, I've always had a thing for the paranormal. Okay, so now we need to make an iron capped wooden wand. And it's worth two points, yeah. Right, okay, let's see if we can do that. So in here, we'll type iron and is that enough iron cap wooden wand and we're going to need iron caps how many are we going to need okay we're going to need iron nuggets in order to make an iron cap okay let's just check what the wand needs in total so it needs two iron caps and a stick so we're going to need to make two of these so we're going to need to make iron nuggets remember if you do the R key over uh, an item it will give you the recipe for making that so it's an iron ingot so there we go we're going to need to do two iron ingots so let's put them in there grab that and this was like so there we go grab them Okay, now uh, the wand was, was it one there, one there, and a stick. There we go. Iron cap wooden wand. Let's grab it. Okay, now if we go into the book. And do the claim reward. Okay, let's now... We got two points, which is cool. Let's have a look what that unlocked. Okay, that unlocked recording knowledge. I just love this. I really, I gotta tell you, I just absolutely love this. Craft something, unlock something. Craft something, unlock something. It just works. It's like a marriage made in heaven. So much fun. Okay, so recording knowledge. We should make a book to record our findings. Make a bookshelf. Note that Dr. Dio has invented a clever method of creating books with patterns and string instead of leather. When you have done this, right click the bookshelf with the wand to make a book to record our findings in. Okay, so we need to make a bookshelf. And then right click it with our wand. Let's have a look at how we make a bookshelf. There's a bookshelf. So, mm, that can't be right. We need three books. Um, what other bookshelves are there? I don't think I've got three books. How do we make a book? Ah, okay paper, string, and two blank patterns. So that's how we make the book. Now the thing is, of course, um, this is what we're gonna need our sugar cane for. But as you can see, I've only got three sugar cane. So if I go to the chest over here, no, not that chest. If I go to the chest down here, we need sand because you have to have sand to grow your sugar cane. So let's come up here now. A good place I'm thinking to to grow the sugar cane. Oh, it needs to be next to water as well, if I remember correctly. So that means some crops have got to go, or does it? No, I can use these because it has to be right next to the water. So let's do this one. Let's do this one. 
has to be adjacent to the water if I remember correctly and you've got to let it go free high uh, mm, I don't want to put it right over there actually let's just keep it straight like so let's grab my sugar cane and plant it now I wish I could speed this up because then I could have continued and I'd have liked that very much but I can't ah wait a minute of course maybe the uh, bone mill will work let's see no oh, that's a shame never mind okay so that's as far as I can go with with that quest it would have been oh no I caught the cotton then it would have been cool to, to have progressed a bit more but such is life okay if we go back to the book so we'll I'll build a bookcase and um, well I'll leave this here if I ever continue this series then I'll continue this quest line which we can unlock that okay moving on now that was the paranormalist now here's where it gets ultra cool if we go to the colonist and open this up you will see over here if we can find ourselves an ethereal bloom we can start to cure the planet so it says here there must be a way to get rid of the purple gunk infesting the planet it actually looks like this could be a nice place if it weren't for the pollution there must be a way to clean it search hard so it's telling us we need an ethereal for a real bloom so what we can do is go use the uh, teleporter how far did I get with the scout let's just check uh, travel to the jungle I've not done that one yet I've done that so let's do travel to the jungle shall we so travel to the follow lo following location. What I'll need to do is get the coordinates six seven four one five. Oh, actually, what am I doing out of order? Seventy seven one five two three. Okay, come out of there. Press the B key, and this is the jungle and let's put in the coordinates which was 674 1523 and 77 there we go let's click done okay so somewhere is the jungle I hope I did that. Yeah, travel to the jungle. So I did do that right. Okay, and travel to the forest. Where was the forest? Oh, that was to the north. I didn't want to go to that one. The jungle to the south of the swamp suits me perfectly. Okay, so you can see we're actually doing the scouting to get this other ethereal bloom because I don't want to take it from the swamp because that's going to have metal. Uh, like it told us underneath it that I need to mine in order to get to gold so that's why I'm going gonna go to the jungle let's sleep not make that same foolish schoolboy error that I made before of going in the dark okay right now so it's to the south of the swamp the swamp is a little closer to the jungle I believe let's try it let's go to the jungle or to the swamp and then go to the jungle okay so here's the swamp now we're gonna head to the jungle I could just grab that ethereal bloom over there no let's just go to the jungle okay actually I should make a boat shouldn't I uh, did I bring my table? No, I brought the tool station. So let's quickly make a crafting station. Let's put that there. Okay, wherever you wish. And let's make ourselves a boat. Okay, let's get that back. You never know, might need it. 
get into good habits, keep you in good habits, and put the boat down and jump in. Now, I wonder if I'm going to hit a chicken again. What's the bets on that? What odds are you going to give me? Oh look, you can see structures down there. Some sort of fault. Well, hopefully at some point I'll get some water breathing enchantment or an aqua lung or something to be able to go down there and explore. Definitely want to play more of uh, Blightfall. It is a fantastic mod pack. But I did say I would be doing other epi uh, series episodes, so... Now, if I remember rightly, to get out of, let's go around this because I remember in the last episode trying to go through it, and it was a nightmare. Now, can I run across here? I should be able to. Let's just smash the boat. There we go. And let's try and run across. At least it's in daylight, like I say. There'll probably be a skelly or two. But I got my trusty sword. Ah, but here we go. Let's grab, grab these. Oh, there we go. There's a skeleton. <sighs> right. Okay. Let's get away from that skelly. Don't want him to kill me. Am I going in the right direction? Ah, <sighs> oh, that's the taint damaging me. Oh, great, I've got a skeleton now attacking me. Okay, what I can do, if I don't panic, I can simply stop that skelly from hitting me by doing that. There we go, right, let's continue on. On and up. At least I got some cocoa beans, that was a bonus. But I won't be playing this world anymore because this world has a problem. With the first uh, scouting quest, it didn't give me my base location. So I'm having, I've had to start another world. If I ever continue this series, it will be with that new world and I'll just get it to, to where I've got to in this one. All right, let's use that. There we go. Oh, the biodome is there now. Fantastic, it weren't showing up before, now it is. Cool. Okay, so here we are. Now, this is an extreme waste. You can see there's an... Uh, oh no, these are shimmer leaves, not F, uh, not the ethereal bloom. I thought they were ethereal blooms. Because that gives a much better... That's what we're looking for. What's this? Oh, there's an ethereal bloom, so I can take that. You see, why am I taking it from the jungle? Well, if we go into the book and if we look at the jungle, let's claim. To the south of the swamp, beyond the bay is a jungle. It doesn't have any ores in it besides the ones you can find in the forest. To the north, in the forest to the north, but cocoa beans or cats so I don't want cats I'm not interested in scaring away the creepers I'll deal with the creepers all right the cocoa beans is the valuable one but I don't need a great deal of cleared land for that what I need is to progress my quest so this ethereal bloom is coming with me um, is there any others around maybe I could grab one a bit further away no so I'll just grab this one. Oh, I hope it don't uh, ruin the teleporter ah oh, look there's one down here this one is coming with me so let's grab it and let's go back to the teleporter before it all starts going back to nastiness ok 
Okay, and let's open the book. Let's go back to the colonist. I nearly said that one. Open it up. And if we go here now, the cure completed. So let's go to that. And here we go, you see. So I've unlocked this one. So let's claim our nine points. And let's have a look what that's opened up. So okay, by doing this, it's now unlocked these five quests. One of them is very interesting. It's, it's one I'm dying to do in actual fact. So I don't know, I, this is on Paul's this series, but that's definitely where I'll start. And it's basically, we have to go abroad to the Jaded, talk to Captain, let's do it. He's got a dodgy name, Shytake, I'm gonna call him. He's got a very dodgy name, I'm sure you'll agree. So we go on board the Jaded and let's look for him and have a chat with him so we can uh, progress this. Let's see what it says. This ethereal bloom you found is fantastic. Yep, I concur. The more you find or produce, the better produce i wish i knew how to produce them because that would just be so awesome um i'm hoping in the quests it's gonna tell me how i can do that anyway i will reward you as you clean the land but i'll need proof that you are cleaning as well as you claim the scanner in the jaded can print badges that attest your progress you know how to use it right no if not talk to captain shy take on the jaded you can teleport there after learning how to use the scanner from him. Print one of the participation badges. Participation badges, yeah. So there we go. Right, okay, let's go to the Jaded. Oh, that's give me one last hit before I left. Never mind. And again, what's going on? Why am I getting hit? Oh, it must have been the um, tank. Okay, so we're looking for this Captain Shy. Let's call him Captain Shy. Don't know what the drop computer's for. I've not got to that yet. Don't know if I ever will. Hope so. Okay, so don't look like he's in here. Let's get out of here. Okay, that's Mirabelle. What about in here? Ah, Captain Shy. Sat down in his seat. Eating lunch, no doubt. Let's talk to him. You're up, good, we need you, we need you. This planet has been kind to the other scouts, has not been kind to the other scouts. Basically, yeah, they all got killed, didn't they? What happened? Some went insane and turned on their companions. Some were hunted by swarms of alien insects. Yeah, I told, I warned you about them, taint swarms. If you see one, you're already dead. Let's put it that way. So don't go to the savannah. Not unless you've got a death wish. Uh, some were brutally murdered by, mm, well, uh, alien chickens, for lack of a better description. At any rate, you are the final hope. Oh, he's having a second conversation there by the looks of it. What do I do? See the wide, the wide screen over there. The red pulsating, pulsating parts are filled with a purple alien biomass hostile to terrestrial life. We need you to find a way to get rid of it. As you clear away the alien biomass, come back up here from time to time. You can run another scan whenever you want to see how much progress you've made. How do I rescan? Right click the top of the scanner block to rescan. The scanner block is the one set into the table in the middle. The scan might take a few minutes. Feel free to wander off while you wait. Oh, great. How do you track progress? There are two ways to monitor your progress. The best way is to look at the gauges on the walls of this room. Each of the 24 gauges represents a different area of the continent. As you clean the area, the gauges will light up. How cool is that? That's absolutely flipping club fantastic. Also, if you right click on the side of the scanner, you, you can open up a window that will let you print badges that represent your progress. Each zone has three badges, a bronze, silver and gold. You can print badges to show off your progress. Well, I'm not one for showing off, 
as you all know but anyway they fit great in the item frames or look great when hung up on drying racks hmm another good use for drying racks then as you clean more of the planetary surface more badges become available to print in fact you can get your first partition participation badge by just running a scan bronze badges you say no you absolutely cannot melt down your bronze badges to make a pickaxe head that would have been cool those medals were given to you by your country wear them with pride or don't bother printing them oh he's a bit miserable okay okay fine right let's see if we can get this badge oh look at that that's cool that must be the map of uh, the world I'm in okay so where's there's the big screen now how do I do this scan I've just read all of that and I haven't got a clue now what I've got to do so that's a big oh let's read the bleeding thing again and see if I can get it this time uh, so teleport task done uh, location task done detection task ah here we go please click the manual detect while holding the following items scanner merit badge okay so that's what I need let's talk to Captain Shy again how do you rescan right click the top of the scanner block to rescan the scanner block is the one set into the table in the middle ah here we go okay so it said right click the side didn't it to get the uh, badge Oh, is that changing that map? Scan is already in progress. Oh, of course, we've got to wait a few minutes, haven't we? So, there you go. So, it's rescanning the planet surface to check where I've cleaned. How cool is that? This is totally amazing. Really is. Totally, totally an amazing mod pack. Has to be one of the best out there. So, now we've just got to wait for this to run across the whole of the map. As they say, patience is a virtue, and I'm certainly testing my virtue. Hopefully it will do it before the timer goes. So all the red, I'm guessing, is the taint, or the pink. <coughs> Excuse me. All the pink must be taint. And that must be my little swamp area or my starting base. And these must be the three locations that I've the swamp, the forest, uh, that must be the, the jungle, etc. So that's what we must be seeing there. Let's just check it hasn't given me a badge. No, no badges yet. I have got 15 cocoa beans though, that's really rather cool. And I can still plant this somewhere. I'm thinking the swamp is the first area I'm going to clean up. And there's also these uh, bars here, which I think it mentioned were different areas as you clean. You can monitor them that way. Okay, it's nearly done. Just jump on the table. Yeah, nearly done. And there we go. Right, now if we right click on it, <coughs> that will just scan again. So that's definitely not it. Did it update? Manual detect. 
Oh, I can't because I haven't done that yet. I'm sure it said on the side. Oh, there we go, badge printer. Find anything interesting. Ah, scanner merit badge. Certifies mystery of the Jaded 2. Oh, just in time. Certifies mastery of the Jaded 2 in 1 biological anomaly scanner and incentive award fabricator. Let's grab it. Grab it while we can. So we got one. Right, okay. Now that we've got that, we don't need two unless we can smelt them into bronze that would be rather cool uh, and then what you're supposed to put it in there no okay well let's go back to the book let's claim reward okay so that was the detection that now has unlocked this one oh winning the game You do realise that the end goal of this expedition is to make the planet habitable for the... That would make for such a fantastic series. I kid you not. Okay? Watching me stumble and fumble through this world to clean it all up. You are the judge and the jury. If you all want to see me... Do... If you all want to see me do that, then let's improve the viewings for Blackfall. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you've enjoyed this short mini-series on Blightfall. Hopefully there'll be more in the future. Goodbye.